Okay, next one, let's see. We got this story, courtesy of The Guardian, regarding a laughing gas ban. It's going to be happening very soon. It feels like these articles pop up every single couple of months or so. I'm not too sure if it's, you know, boring um, conservative types or liberal types basically trying to stop any fun young people are having out there. I'm not too sure if this is actually a legitimate issue, if this is something they can't push through because of various other reasons that laughing gas and these kind of things are used for or the components they're used for. I don't know, but it feels like this article in particular gets recycled once every few months. But this article is recent one, courtesy of The Guardian. It says as follows. Laughing gas could be banned from general sale with possession, possessionally, sorry, potentially criminalized unless someone has a legitimate reason to have it. Ministers are thought to be considering a move as part of the crackdown on antisocial behavior. The Times has reported after cannabis, laughing gas is the most commonly used drug among 16 to 24 year olds. It's funny because cannabis is illegal in the, U in the UK, yet it's this, still this popular. So it goes to show all these rules and bannings they put in place anyway don't actually do anything because people will find a way. Um, it continues as there are concerns about health problems caused by its usage with causes where it's been linked to nerve damage paralysis or death i've seen a few of those articles or stories on shade bar and places like that i'm sorry but if you're a kid out there and you become you know you suffer from nerve damage sorry nerve damage paralysis or death because of a laughing gas you probably deserve it that's probably a case of natural selection if you're legitimately getting to a point where you're about to OD or die from laughing gas, you probably would have died stepping on your flipping bedroom frame or something and knocking yourself out. That would have happened equally as much because you are R word redacted, capital R word redacted. That's insane. Um, there's nothing that enjoyable about laughing gas that should be pushing you to the point where you're taking it to the face and it's leading to death paralysis or more. It doesn't make any sense personally for me. It really is ridiculous. Nicotine says only those with good causes to possess it would have exemptions such as chefs who use its products including whipped cream or for freezing ch chilling food. Sorry, The gas nitrous oxide is also used as a painkiller during childbirth or dental treatment. So we're going to have goons out here pretending they're midwives, pretending they're, you know, taking out people's wisdom teeth. Right, we're gonna have people here pretending that they have a what's that thing called like a catering business where they make flipping wedding cakes for people and whatnot. That's how people are gonna get around it all, all the time. Like, oh, this is Hassan's flipping wedding cake service. Wink, wink. Balloon emoji, balloon emoji. Come on, man. We know what's gonna happen. The law currently bans the knowing of uh, bans the knowing or reckless supply of nitrous oxide from inhalation. Inhalation, sorry. Inhale, inhalation. Jesus, why can't I say that word? Inhalation. However, the British Compressed Gases Association <laughs> this one said bad on all consumer sale. I didn't know this even existed. British Compressed Gases Association, the BCGA. Mama mia. We love a good association, innit? We love a group of adults, you know, gathering around being flipping narcs and being flipping randles and snitches, innit? And telling people what to do and whatnot. We love it, innit? Community watch. Um, neighborhood watch, flat watch, apartment watch. Man, get out of here before I push you off a building. Anyway, it continues. A review is currently being carried out by the UK wide independent advisory council for the misuse of drugs, which advises on drug policy. The policing minister, Chris Phillip, who is thought to want it fast tracked by to April. Oh my God. So before festival season, they're going to get this in a way because the government cannot act until the findings have been reported, according to the Times. This also goes back to my theory that I was saying that I think this year will be the biggest year for festivals um, going forward in, you know, this summer, because I feel like last year, even though it was the first year post-pandemic, post-lockdown for most people, I still feel like a lot of people were kind of hesitant and resistant to going out and maybe a bit scared, a bit anxious. But now that we've got a full, so much, somewhat so a full year, out of our system where we lived kind of quote unquote normally i think people are now going to go for broke when it comes to this summer so this summer will be an absolute busy one and it makes sense because i've seen a few places selling through most of their first release tickets or festivals and whatnot and they, you know people put a decent amount of those things up so i'm assuming that is the case and i think the police are probably seeing these numbers also and seeing the temperature out there 
and thinking, you know what, we can't have another summer or people getting too smashed up, especially post pandemic. People's tolerances, like my my tolerance, is completely depleted since I've been spending most of my time indoors and not going out as often. And even when you drink or do drugs at home or something, it's not the same as being out socially. So whatever tolerance I did have prior has completely been eroded. And the issue with those kind of things are when you do then eventually go outside. You're happy to be out there in a good mood, a bit of peer pressure, whatever else it may be. And then suddenly you're taking things to the face, up the ears, you know, or, or up the other bit into the ears. And then suddenly you're getting absolutely banged out. And it's not obviously the best way to go about things. So I understand their need to try and push it forward. But this is a bit ridiculous. The review is also requested by the then House Secretary Priti Patel in September 2021. So pushing for a while, it's believed that the, for the formal announcement could be made as part of the government's anti-social behaviour strategy, which is set to be published in April. What I love about the UK when it comes to these sort of things, there's never any education. There's never any opportunity to uh, to kind of um, tell people how they should be how they should be behaving when it comes to antisocial behavior. It's always let's just ban the thing that's getting on our nerves. Let's not sit down with these people who we feel like are repeat offenders or who are the main culprits and maybe come to some sort of conclusion as to how we can make this right. No, 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 no. We're just gonna ban it. That's it, we're gonna ban it. Which is ridiculous because the people that are being antisocial, for the most part, are just gonna continue doing it anyway. No amount of banning is really going to change things for the long run going forward. So I always find that kind of approach very strange and bizarre. If anything, you'll be missed hearing that sound as you're coming out of a nightclub of tss, hear some dude saying two for five, two for ten, three for ten, whatever it may be, and trying to entice you on the prices as you leave the nightclub because you just finished all your gear and you want another bit of a buzz. Because that's the only time I bought stuff like that. If I've already got still some stuff left on me, I'd much rather take that home and finish the bit that I have left before I go to bed, as opposed to going out and trying to ingest another drug into my system. And also, I've always looked at laughing gas, especially doing it through balloons, the same way as doing like shisha and stuff. It's not really my vibe. It kind of like, you know, after a few pulls of that stuff in a restaurant or in a cafe or bar somewhere, it gets very boring very quickly. I know people love the, the buzz of the head high when it comes to shisha and stuff, cool. But for me, it gets boring really, really quickly. And I think the same thing applies for balloons. When you first do them, it's pretty cool and pretty fun. But after a while, just the thought of you standing there with a balloon and sucking on it and whatnot and trying to make it look somewhat hard or cool is so lame. I think everyone that stands around with it, unless you're under the age of 22, you look like a capital R redact, in my opinion anyway, in my opinion. But let's see if they push it through. Hopefully they don't because kids need whipping, uh, laughing gas, keys need laughing.